Well, it's a cold February morning in North Dorset. The frost's on the ground. There's a little bit of smoke in the air when you breathe out. And I've got my hot chocolate. And um, we've been sitting down and it's time to look at uh, catalogues for hen houses. Um, for this year's new hen house, or if you're planning on expanding your flock, or even if you're just gonna start keeping hens. And perhaps the biggest question of all with hen houses these days is wooden or plastic? What do I go for? Well, they've both got their advantages. Um, wooden houses, a wide range of styles, wide range of patterns and sizes. And of course you can have them made to suit what you want. You can have them bespoke. Um, with the plastic houses, they tend to be smaller, um, but they are bright colours, they're great if you've got children, um, you can repurpose them for rabbits and stuff afterwards. Um, so they've both got their advantages. The main um, advantage of plastic houses is the ability to clean them more easily. Um, wooden houses you have to take regular care of, they require maintenance, but they are a more natural product. It breathes, um, so the birds tend to get not so much moisture and condensation in the house, and they've got a lot more space to, to move around in. You can have larger nest boxes, nest boxes etc. Um, and the plastic houses, they are smaller. You do need to make sure that you disinfect them quite regularly because of the fact that you do tend to get a bit of condensation in there. This can affect uh, the breathing of some birds. But if you're after two or three birds in an urban back garden, then why not? Um, that's fine. A lot of people, they want five, six, ten birds. Uh, they want something a little bit more architectural to go in the garden, something that, that suits their garden, in which case I would suggest a timber house. Um, in the long run, a plastic house will probably be with you forever until you want to sell it. Uh, a timber house will be with you for as long as you look after it. So they've, they've both got their plus sides. Of course, the elephant in the room with all hen houses is red mite. Uh, uh, these days, because uh, we're not allowed to use things like proper creosote and this, it, we're plagued with red mite. Now, um, plastic hen house makers will tell you their houses don't get red mite. Well, I'm afraid they do. Uh, we uh, have a business that sends out 800 parcels of poultry supplies a week and we get phone calls every day from people saying they've got red mite um, and they've got plastic houses, they've got metal houses, they've got wooden houses. Basically speaking, if you've got chicken in a house, then they'll get red mite. The advantage of a plastic house is that it's easier to clean. If you want to do it properly, you need to dismantle it as well. But with the use of proper products, diatomaceous earth on a weekly basis and a good spray around, spray around inside with poultry shield or, or a flight mite spray, uh, good regular cleaning, husbandry and using your eyes and looking, just catching anything in the early stages, um, both types of houses can be very easy to look after. Red mite can live in the bedding, it can live in the uh, wood chips or whatever in your run. So don't get the mistaken idea that if you've got a plastic house, you will have no problems with red mite. Whatever you have, you've got to do good husbandry of your birds, look after them on a regular basis and treat your house on a regular basis. So very basically speaking, that's the pluses and minuses of wooden and plastic houses. Colours, any colour you like with a wooden house, you can go out with a big paintbrush, do it in stripes like a beach hut. Plastic houses, they do them in some very attractive colours that sit beautifully in an urban garden and, and, and again, very child friendly. Uh, so whatever you choose, Enjoy your hen keeping and don't forget regular husbandry is what's required, whatever you put them in. So uh, I've got my mug of cocoa. I'm going to stay in by the fire for a little bit and um, have a nice February. Enjoy picking your hen house. Thank you. Bye bye. If you've got any questions for Ask Phil, please email in to info at 
flightsofancy.co.uk, that's flight with a Y, uh, or you can go on to our Facebook channel, Flight So Fancy Facebook channel, or our YouTube video channel where all the uh, Ask Phil questions are and loads more videos from Flights of Fancy. Um, if you're interested in, in any products that have been featured on our videos, um, please have a look on our website, which is uh, www.flightsofancy, again with a Y, .co.uk. Um, and there's lots and lots of information, lots of products, and loads and loads and loads of chicken knowledge that's been garnered over the years. Um, also, just in case you're not on the internet, I'm not quite sure how you're watching this, but we also do a printed catalogue as well, which is we're just printing this year's now. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye bye.